Okay, the other day I was down at the creek and I'm wading and I'm in these uh, little pockets and stuff and there's these reeds growing and stuff and I got to looking down and I saw these little tiny blue, or uh, I think they're sunfish. And I was thinking, oh man, I bet that smallmouth are feeding on them. That's what every now and then I'd see, you know, a bust like in those reed areas. And I was like, oh gosh, that's probably smallmouth. And I think that's what they're feeding on. So that's what we're building. We're going to build a little tiny, uh, about a two inch crankbait of a, um, I guess a sun sunfish. It's not a sun granny. It looked more, you know, it wasn't a war mouth. You know, usually in them streams, it's either a war mouth or a sun granny, but it looked like a little sunfish. And so that's what we're going to try. <laughs> See if we can't catch us a smaller or two. So stay tuned. And uh, it's time to lure up. <laughs> and I'm thinking something along the lines. Uh, let's just see here. Probably start right in here. Can't make that work. Oh yeah, it cuts like a knife. Okay, that's enough of that. Back to the bandsaw and let's cut a little bit of shape on that. Okay, what, what I'm thinking is is that I need to taper the front and the back. Okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna hand carve this. This is kind of small and it's got some curves and stuff to it that I just don't think that belt Sanders conducive for. So we're going to whittle this rascal down. Whittle him. I wonder where that term whittling come from. To whittle. I guess you're cutting and you're cutting just a little. <laughs> so you're just cutting just a whittle. Just a little bit. See, so whittling words or something like languages or something don't know why I want to know that right now but man isn't that handy you're on the Google saying hey what is that I wonder if anybody did that just now <laughs> stop stop watching YouTube and go find out where the word whittle come from golly don't do that this has ended up being skinnier than I wanted it. But you know, those little sun grannies are pretty thin. The other day somebody asked me, they said, what's your favorite part of all this lure building? And I have to say this is it right here. I love taking just an old piece of wood and turning it into an actual shape that I really like. Okay, basically what I'm doing here is taking some of that circuit board material and building the dorsal and anal fin and also the tail. So I'll just cut it to shape and sand it. Yes, something along the lines of that. 
All right, we need to find the center of this rascal. We need to put some eyelets in. Put some eyelets here. Now the way that's sitting, the lure's a lot fatter at the head. I'm gonna drill the hole for the weight right in front of that. So I'll go ahead and glue this in. I made that hole, I wallered it out too much. I'm gonna go ahead and use some five minute epoxy instead of cyanacrylate. Crazy glue. Before I mix that, I might as well get the other holes cut. And what I like doing, I don't always do it, but sometimes, I wait for it to start to set a little bit. Because right now it's running and I put that in there and it's just going to lean to one side. But as it starts to get a little tacky, I can shove that in there and it'll have some you know, solidness to it that'll kind of hold that, that uh, eyelid in place. Okay, it's tacking up a little bit. set it like that so I can see all you guys have built crankbaits before you know um, how important alignment and symmetry and balance um, angle you know of the bill the lip you know all those things are so important there's like there's about I'd say six to eight, you know, depending on what you're building, but, you know, six or eight variables that are, um, you know, can be combinations of things. You can have your angle just a little too steep and your bill a little too long and you don't know what's going on. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different things that can happen. Okay, we got these little pieces sanded the shape I want. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them in with some five minute epoxy. Let that dry. Okay, let's put some little details on this guy. We're gonna have an eyeball. We have some gills. These uh, little tiny lures like this they uh, really test your skills when it comes to carving because you know the features you're trying to cut in have such tight radiuses and you've got little tiny um, you know details that you're trying to capture but uh, I sure do enjoy uh, you know trying to capture those I do decide that it's just too small for a scale pattern We'll give them a good primer coat and that'll tell us where we need to sand some more. I can see some issues right down in there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Let's see how she swims before we get too carried away. Mm. No, I'm not sure we got the bill lined up good. I think those fins and tail is just too much. Well, that is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> I think what I need to do, I could put a joint there. I thought about that from the beginning. It's a tall, tiny bait, but if I put a joint right there at the back of these fins, <coughs> that'll give it the ability to flex and oscillate or you know, wiggle. So let's do that. Let's put a joint in. It can't hurt. 
um, and then we'll come back and see what we're doing. Okay, let's try to cut a joint in here. And I'm thinking right, right in here. The key to getting this epoxy down in there, um, if you can get it to one side, <coughs> you'll let the air out as it drips in. You know, you can just work it back and forth with a wire and then take your eyelet and get it all goobed up. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll tell you what, while he's baking, let's cut us a little... Uh, Let's cut us a groove on the other piece. Okay, it's a tiny little pin. It's a tiny little bait. It'll be interesting now to see if that changes anything. I think we better go back and give it a try. Cameraman back working. He, uh, what? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what I did was I uh, shortened this bottom fin a little bit and jointed the tail and not messed with this too much. I just left the bill and the eyelet the same. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, and I added a little more weight, just a little more shot right there, a little bird shot. So I like how she sits in the water. Let's see here. Ooh, boy, we're getting close now. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I have to, uh, it's hitting the bottom there a little bit. It's wanting to bottom out. But I think that could be a little, uh, little tuning and tweaking there. But I think we got it. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to paint him up and then it's off to the river, or you know what, this little guy, maybe I'll take him down to the creek. Maybe I'll do both. Excited about that little guy, and he, he's just like, he's gonna get eaten. He's just gonna get eaten. Quit it, you can see my black heads, quit it. Here you go, camera boy. Huh, where you going? Where are you running off to? <laughs> we gotta go to the river. I can't go to the river today. Oh, come on. I gotta, Get ready for my interview. Oh, that's right. You got an interview with Football Focus, don't you? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you get that job. Just put the primer coat on. Looking good, time for a little clear coat.
Okay, um, I've been trying to get footage down at the creek of this thing swimming and it just there's just too much glare, um, just can't get the right angles. So I had to come back to the bathtub to show you what this thing actually looks like in the water. So here we are. It looks so good. Doesn't that look good? That little guy, I slow roll it. Man, it looks good in the water. And, uh, you know, that's what it looks like. Now, I have played with it a little bit. It's got a little damage from me casting it and trying to fish with it a little bit, but uh, still looks pretty good. All right, well, we're going to run down to the creek to see if we can't actually catch something, but it's a lot clearer than the river, and uh, we've had another day to clear up, so let's see what happens. Honey! Um, I just got a call about a job over by the river, uh, subdivision over by the, by, by the, by the creek. I'm going to run over and bid a job. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Serious. <laughs> little toot. Bet you that's a rock bass. Yep. Yeah, little rock bass. I wonder where the rock bass were at. Huh? A little bitty squirt. There's a little smallie. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Rats. Maybe he's got a friend. Yes, he does. A <laughs> little bitty friend. <laughs> wow. Oh, he got off too. them weeds. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's going downstream on me. <laughs> All right. Ooh, right in the corner of the mound. You know what? That makes a nice little picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that includes our video for the day. Please remember to hit that like button, and if you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline, so stay tuned, and remember, lure up.